putting the apron on. That's how you know it's serious. Hey y'all, it's your girl Haley. I'm the girl behind Brewing Happiness, which is a health and happiness website with recipes dedicated to all definitions of health. Today, we're making super fudgy, grain-free brownies made with ghee. This recipe is sponsored by Bob's Red Mill, so I'm gonna be using their products. I would use their products anyways. I love them so, so much. And we're using two of their grain-free flours, the Superfine Almond Flour and also cassava flour. Cassava flour is made from the root of a cassava plant. It's very starchy, um, so it adds some really nice texture and binding for these. And then I'm sweetening everything with coconut sugar. For me, refined sugar gives me mad headaches and coconut sugar is lower on the GI scale. It doesn't spike my blood pressures or blood sugar as much. So I find it's just easier on my body. So that's why I use it a lot. Uh, what else should you know about these? These brownies are super fudgy. I already said that. I mean, to me, like why make other kinds of brownies? Brownies should be fudgy, period, end of story. I don't think that there's room for argument here. And if there is, I will not accept it. Fudgy brownies are bust, so that's what we're making. They're both grain-free and gluten-free, which is sort of like a square rectangle sort of situation, you know what I'm saying? And they're made with ghee, which is essentially butter with all the milk solids cooked out. So it's super rich and buttery in flavor. And uh, yep, that's about it. Oh, we're also using dark chocolate, like an 85% to 90% dark chocolate. So there's not a lot of sugar in the chocolate that we're using. So that makes it a little bit better for you and you get all the antioxidants of um, cacao and dark chocolate. Let's just dive right in because y'all need to know how to make these brownies. I'm so serious. They're very good. <laughs> I'm biased, but they're very good, okay? Let's do this thing. First things first, you wanna preheat your oven to 325. And while that's preheating, you wanna heat a pot over medium heat with ghee in it, just until it's melted, and then you'll add your dark chocolate. Take the ghee off of the heat and just let that melt together. Meanwhile, add all of your dry ingredients to a fine mesh sieve, which is cacao powder, almond flour, and cassava flour and salt. And then from there, you will just sift that into a bowl. And after you're done sifting, just set it aside. Then for your wet ingredients, you wanna add coconut sugar, four large eggs, and vanilla extract into the bowl of a standing mixer or a large bowl using a hand mixer, either way works. And then you wanna chop up about two ounces of dark chocolate and set that aside for later. Let your wet ingredients mix on high for a while until soft peak trails form. And that's when you'll lower the speed to medium and slowly pour in your chocolate and ghee mixture just until it is all incorporated. From there, you'll add half of your dry ingredients, mix everything together on low speed. You'll add the second half of your dry ingredients and mix together just until everything is combined. At this point, it will be very thick and fudgy. You'll add in all of your chocolate chunks, stir those in just until incorporated. Then you wanna take a nine by nine pan and line it with ghee and then dust it with cassava flour. Pour all of your batter in and then smooth it out evenly. Once you've smoothed it out, bake for 35 minutes and that's it. All right, folks, we did it. We've got the best brownies ever. Really all that's left to do is to just slice into them and try them out, shall we? Look at how the inside looks. Oh my goodness. They are nice and crispy on the top and still fudgy on the inside. They're honestly, maybe essentially a health food. I don't know, don't ask me. I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, but I'd call them a health food. If you don't know where to get cassava flour or coconut sugar or almond flour, you can head to Bob's Red Mill website and just order it straight from there. It makes your life very easy. And I hope you guys make these at home. I hope you make them for all your friends. No one's ever gonna know that they're gluten-free or grain-free. They're just gonna be like, these might be the best brownies I've ever had.
and then you'll be their new best friend. And then you'll have so many friends, you won't know what to do with, and you might have to stop making brownies. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I've got for you this week. <laughs> um, uh, I love you a lot. Stay happy and stay healthy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.